We're taking these supplies. Let's make this resin top folding bed tray. Hey guys, I'm Corey. This is Makeshape Crate. We're making a lap table today. So we're gonna do that using plywood. This is the plywood we had left over from our old uh, folding table that we made in the old apartment. Um, we got some one by twos, some red oak. Uh, we're gonna use some resin, some alcohol inks we made last week. So yeah, we need to start though by cutting down some wood. Let's do it. Yeah, for this, um, we want it to be about 28 inches. Um, we're gonna have it fold in the middle so that way you can pack it, you know, under the bed or wherever you want. The legs will also fold up and we want to put this indent in there so that way when it's sitting on your lap, it can get a little closer to you. So we need to cut this board down to about 14 inches, cut it in half and round off these corners. So let's do that. So now we're going to go ahead and try to draw this curve. Um, there's multiple ways to do this. You can use like a metal ruler if you want like a perfect curve or whatever. This is going to be so slight that I'm just going to measure in about an inch or two and then just kind of freehand it. And then I got them both clamped together. We'll just take it back over to the bandsaw and just cut it out that way. These all cut down, as you saw. I went ahead and off camera, cut down the middle piece for it. Um, now we just need to put some masking tape on the edges, and then we're gonna paint the faces of these white. So that way when we color the resin and put that in, um, we don't see the wood through. drying on those we're going to go ahead and start cutting down the legs i've already marked them at 45 degrees um, we need to do two legs for each side and then a stretcher for the bottom we got all our legs cut um, but they're not quite the right angle so we're going to use the belt sander i've got them all marked we're going to use it to sand them down to the lines. paint's all dry, we're gonna go ahead and start edge banding it. Um, we're only edge banding three of the sides and that's because we're gonna use this as kind of our barrier for when we put the resin in. So, we're gonna leave like, about, it'll be about half, uh, whatever half of this width is, um, left over. And that we're hoping, we might need to add some glue or something on the inside, but we're hoping that should be good enough to hold the resin in. Paint's dry, edge banding's put on. We've taped the sides to have a barrier for the resin when we put it in. I also put um, some wood glue just around the edge right here to kind of hopefully seal this up a little more, along with just a little bit of super glue along that edge of the tape to hopefully do the same thing. So now, we're just waiting for that to dry, which is almost done. 
And then we can start mixing resin and pouring that in. Time for us to do resin. Ready? Uh, yes. <laughs> You've never done it before. Nope. And I've only done it the once. Hopefully this works. Alright guys, so we're gonna go wash our hands. Yeah. And this has to sit um, probably for a while. And then uh, we'll come back and add some clear to it, probably tomorrow. So, till tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is set overnight. Um, it's still a little tacky, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to scuff it up and then put a clear coat on top of it, try to bring it up to the level we want. As you can see, even though the workbench is level, for some reason this wasn't. So I had to sure up the one side, um, but that's okay. Anyway, start adding clear. Okay, clear coats put on. Um, it looks like there's indent, but there's not. Um, I had to spread it around a little bit, uh, fill in where I could, as you probably saw. And because the first coat was still a little gel state-ish, um, it's created indent, which are actually pretty cool. Um, but I have checked it and it is level and there is no, um, yeah. Then I can tell any divots or whatever. But as this dries, it should level out. I still have it shirt up. Um, so back to letting this cure, and then we will be back when this dries. Yeah. All right, our resin zone is cured. While we're waiting for it, we're gonna go ahead and stain these. Um, we're actually gonna use a uh, tongue oil for that. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on these pieces. That way, when that is cured, all we have to do is put it on the edge banding, screw it all together, and that's all we got. So, there we go. <laughs> Most likely sure that uh, 
when we put in the first layers that we didn't mix them correctly. So they are now leaking out and still not cured. This has been like, a while, you know, this has been a couple days now, guys, and this is still not cured. So we are going to start over, but we're doing it differently. We are, we already have the legs ready. We already have the centerpiece ready. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to use thicker wood for this. We're going to go ahead and recut the tops, re-eggs band them, put in new resin, just as mixed at this time, go from there. So this way, when it's done, we're done versus having to wait for everything. So here we go. Try two. <laughs> We've already put on this thing. One thing I found is by putting a little piece of blue tape over it, it'll allow you to line this hinge up exactly where you want it. You can put it down and yet still find your holes to then screw in your screws. So one thing we are doing differently is we're going to use hot glue instead of wood glue to put a seal all the way around so that way the resin doesn't leak through. So here we go. finished the second attempt at the resin pour Just put our alcohol inks in we'd already popped the bubbles and everything just as covered in alcohol inks and we forgot to level it again so we had to level it after the fact hence pop the legal sticks but it looks a lot better than the last one did mm -hmm. um the pour seemed a lot easier than the last one did um so i think we're gonna be okay i think it's gonna work we have high hopes. I'm not touching it anymore. You don't want more colors? No, it's good. <laughs> Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> All right, yes. see you guys tomorrow. Success. It shifted a little, but it's all cured. I mean, it still needs to sit for like probably a couple more hours, but I'm not leaving fingerprints in it. I was able to go ahead and clean up the edges best I could with a knife. Um. So that's done. I've already applied um, tongue oil to the egg banding. And so we're just gonna let this sit for a little while longer. We just gotta put the legs on the bottom and this is complete. All right, we got the all the hinges on the legs. Um, we couldn't get all the tape off, but that's okay. Now we just need to attach this to the top, add a little more oil. projects like this you can uh subscribe comment below if you have any ideas give us a like find us on social media and uh we will be back next week with another video Bye, hey guys, guys.